Motion analysis is a way of looking at how a human being can move through space. And three, two, one. In the field of orthopedics and sports medicine, we can look at how the bones and joints and muscles all move within a person to create a sport movement. Motion analysis gives us an idea of if there's potential risks for injury or if somebody's rehabilitating from injury, what those differences in motion are. Nice. During a motion analysis test, we typically put on a series of very small reflective markers. We put them on different bony sites all over a person's body, key areas that give us an idea about the sport of interest. Our cameras that are located around the room reflect infrared light on these retro re reflective markers and help us to create a moving figure in space. The computers pick up all these little markers and then using our computer software, we can create three-dimensional uh, figures from that person uh, moving. We look to see whether the right side moves similarly to the left side if it should, or if it's an asymmetrical sport like throwing, what those joint mechanics are actually doing. So we can determine what the joint angles are and how fast those joints are moving uh, in space. That gives us an idea when we compare that person's data to those of uh, elite athletes or those who are healthy athletes, we can get an idea of whether or not that person is running the risk for injury or if they can optimize their performance by tweaking their motion a little bit. Motion analysis can actually be used for a wide variety of purposes, not just for athletes. Uh, it can also be used for individuals who are starting up an exercise program and think that they might have a potential risk for injury. We can use it in rehabilitative processes to see the progress of how well a person is getting back to normal with their motions of their joints. So motion analysis is very useful across the age spectrum and fitness spectrum.